Hi, fashion dolls. It is Wednesday, Wednesday, June 22nd, and welcome to an all-new episode of Style by Stevie. Today, we have one of our previous guests that has been on back in May. Donnie Riser is back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to be talking about his skincare stick, the Woo Stick. So we're going to be talking all things summer, spring, and yeah, summer, spring skincare tips here on Style by Stevie. I couldn't get it right, but I'm so excited. So without further ado, let's welcome our very special guest, Donnie Riser, ladies and gentlemen. Let me share this live so we can get right into it. Do, 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 do. Uh, if I can get it. There we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I hope you all are doing wonderful this Wednesday, Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Sharing this live, letting everyone know that we are on. Alright, fashion dolls, so without further ado, let's welcome our very special guest, model and actor, Donnie Riser. Today we're going to be talking about summer skincare tips and his rule stick. All right, fashion dolls, let's get right into it. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how you doing? Great, welcome back. Um, we spoke last month, so. Right, feels like feels like it was um, yesterday. Yes. <laughs> So um, how has things been for you since we last spoke? Since we last spoke, things have been really good, thanks. Just checking in. You can hear me okay, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm just adjusting my volume. Um, when did we last speak? Can, do you know the exact month it was? It was May. We spoke back in May. And this was May. around the time I met Gayla. What's going on? That's right. So, yeah. That's right, May. Okay, since then... Um, there was a few challenges I had, you know, with work, um, but I've learned over the years to adapt and just keep positive, you know, and things will keep going. So uh, it's been busy um, picking up, it's been picking up the last month, I'd say. It's been, it's been getting busier and um, keeping my fingers in all the pies, as they say, keeping myself busy. Absolutely, absolutely. And how have you been since? How have you been since then? I have been wonderful, super excited, wonderful, all of those good things. So many things have been happening throughout this week. It's like this platform has been taking off so fast and we're getting things in motion now set for the next up and coming seasons. So I'm so excited to see what else is to come in the future. Excellent, that's good. Um, so things have been going well with the show. Yes, and um, uh, it's been hectic with having to balance it out with family and doing the show and stuff, but thank God that I have a great support team behind me 100% just backing me along the way. It's, yeah, it's been hectic. <laughs> well, it's good, and it's good that you have a support team, you know. Uh, that we can't do this alone, can we? Yes, 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 absolutely. So... With that being said, the last time we didn't get to touch on it when you were here last time, we were so interested in hearing about you and that big surprise, that moment for May, which was the biggest event in the fashion world ever, the Met Gala. So we're going to talk skincare today, summer skincare. We're now in the summer months, and we now know that people are starting to go to the beach, and people are wanting glowing skin. So tell us about the woo stick and what made you come up with the woo stick, because this different. This is different than any other face mask that I've seen on the market today. Yeah, that's true. Um, like you say, summer is here, and it's like we we try and prepare for these things. Like, oh, we think January, February. Um, you know, I've got time, but then you know, it's already here, isn't it? And we work. It's like we do every all that preparation for summer, so we can go on the beach or go on vacation, wherever it is. Go to these parties and eat and wine and dine and stuff and it kind of goes ahead of us but so yes I still have the green tea scent uh, it was uh, the so for those people that don't know about World War Sticks it's a green tea face mask on a stick so the concept is 
like you use a deodorant roll-on stick, but it's a mask for the face. So it saves that little bit of the messy hands part at the start when you usually do your facial regimen with a face mask yeah. and you screw it up um, and you draw on your face. I actually have the product here. I, I should have just had put it in front of me. Um, I'll get it in a minute. But um, the green tea is the, the main scent that I chose. Uh, many benefits that green tea has as a um, yeah. antioxidant, you know, internally and externally helps the skin. So um, it's, it's a great detoxifier. So to really draw out uh, oak bulb. In the summer, our pores open up and it, that's what allows them to cause blackheads and the sweat produces bigger blackheads and all this stuff. So yeah. it really um, eliminates or reduces the, uh, the pores and um, evens out the skin with the green tea. But I, on, on additional to that, I added um, aloe vera, vitamin E or vitamin E in American, uh, vitamin E with cucumber and um, vitamin E cucumber, aloe vera and kale and clay. So that's additional to the green tea. So there's all these natural superfoods that I included in the ingredients, uh, which I actually carefully selected myself um, amongst the other ingredients, uh, because those are things that I often use in my skincare that's helped my skin. So I wanted to include those and to also separate myself from the market of certain brands that don't use those things yeah. in their skincare, which are very important. Um, the aloe vera, which helps. I don't know if you know, but when you put aloe vera onto your skin, uh, especially on the face, it acts as a natural collagen. So you've got that aging factor, which collagen helps um, in reduction of. Um, and then obviously, obviously the cucumber is great for toning the skin and many other benefits for the body. And then the, um, the vitamin E is also helps keep, um, helps absorb moist in the skin. So, oh, yeah. you know, a lot of clays in the mask dry your face out. Um, this particular clay that I use is kaolin clay and it helps retain moisture and it doesn't give that cracked tight feeling when you put it on your face. So after that, uh, it's more smooth and it's easier to wash off. So yeah, that's a, bit, that's a little bit about the, um, the product itself. It's, uh, it's compact. You can take it in your handbag. You can take it in your book bag. Um, Wherever you go. Yeah, and the product lasts the expiry date on it's like two and a half, three years. You can keep it for ages. Um, you don't want to keep it somewhere too hot. Um, nice, cool, dry place. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty convenient. And it's a good price as well. So yeah, it's a win-win situation, right? Yes. And we know that a lot of people are going into the pool. That chlorophene can be damaging to your skin as well, too, and not only to your skin, as well as your hair. So make sure that you are keeping your skin hydrated, especially during the summer. Um, another tip to add on to that, while you guys can purchase Donnie's mask, is make sure that you go and invest in a good lightweight moisturizer as well, too. SPF 15 is something essential that we need in our skins yes the you know we can go easily go out in the sunlight because we're already melanated and things like that but we still have to protect our melanin as well also so make sure that you guys are um during the winter months exfoliating making sure that you guys exfoliate or you can do it during the summer months but i would say do it suggest doing it two to three weeks especially if it's like a body scrub because i love my body scrubs as well too if you guys right. follow my stories, you guys know that I'm all about self-care. I love a smell good. My, um, I love a good fragrance. And I'm always invested in deeply taking care of my skin all over. So um, even when I apply the makeup, I, it's a process. Before I come on, I have to make sure that you start off with a blank canvas. Wash your face every morning when you get up. Use a good cleanser. Use a good mask. Use something that is good for you. So that this is free information because I know people are wondering, damn, how does she keep her skin so flawless? It's because when it's for my ladies out there, when you're wearing makeup, don't sleep in makeup. Make sure that you find a purifying mask. And this mask that Donnie has created can be gentle enough for men and women. You can use it in cucumber. I don't really see a whole lot of skincare products that contain cucumber. So this is definitely different and it sets right on the market. So go out here and purchase this product. Um, I've seen the testimonial, te I couldn't pronounce it testimonials and things on Donnie's 
page for this product and seeing how people's skin came out is just beautiful. So when it comes to summer skincare, making sure that you guys are getting a moisturizer. Now, another key thing you want to also have is hyaluronic acid, which is great for your skin as well, too. And I use, yes, I'm a Bath and Body Works girl. So I use a lot of their body creams and their body creams contain hyaluronic acid. I also use a facial uh, or daily moisturizer that contains hyaluronic acid, which is well, too. And you've mentioned collagen. Um, my mom will probably kill me for this. <laughs> but um, she's the type of woman that she wants her skin to be fuller. She's just like, why am I getting these dark circles? Why am I getting all of these things? Collagen, if you're a woman of a certain age, that is essential as well, too. So we got to make sure that you are definitely protecting melanin all over that you're protected and set. SPF 15, hyaluronic acid, and more importantly, vitamin E. Now, there are products out here that are, that do contain vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin C. Vitamin A is supposed to brighten your skin and enhance your skin and give you that glow. And another thing I do is I take vitamins every day. So make sure that you guys are drinking lots of water and staying hydrated. Now, I don't think I asked Donnie this question when we did our interview, but what is your skincare secret? We know you use the product, but what other secrets do you have? That's a good question. Um, before I do that, Lauren's online. I'm going to give her a shout out because um, she is, if, you, if you're still there, Lauren, I don't know if you logged off or yet, put you on the spot. Um, there's a vitamin, there's a vitamin C that you use as an oil serum that she recommended. I haven't tried it yet, but perhaps you can put it in the chat. Um, just if you're still there, she might not be there anymore. But my um, back to my, my skincare regimen, um, the three essentials, like you mentioned, some of them there um, cleanse, tone, moisturize, right? But it's also good to incorporate a scrub or a mask. Now, I personally think scrubs are great. I use scrubs, um, I use St. Ives green tea scrub, always using green tea for my face. Um, but you, sometimes scrubs can be a little harsh on the skin and the face. So you have to be careful. On the body, you can go as rough as you like. But um, on the face, yeah, I do a scrub every, maybe every two weeks, I do a scrub. But the mask, um, the reason why I chose the mask as well is because it's, a less, um, it's, le it's less vigorous on the face and you can use it more often. Yeah. So, yeah, you can use it like two or three times a week. But um, so for, for washing my face, I've been a big fan of Kiehl's products. Um, have you heard of Kiehl's? Nice. Yeah. Kiehl's is great. I've literally used Kiehl's for, wow, how many years now? I want to say over 15 years I've been using Kiehl's. Um, I swear by Kiehl's, yeah. So I use their, uh, I use their uh, Calen is it Caledonian face wash, the cleanser. I use that cleanser. Um, for showering, and then tone the face. I use their cucumber toner. So again, from using cucumber, I incorporated that into my product because I know it works and it really does tone tone the skin. And I don't know if you do this, um, Stevie, but I keep my toner in the fridge, keep it cold, especially in the summer. Yeah, so I mean, it's going to preserve it longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when when you if it's a little bit moist, uh, a bit humid in your home or just before you go out in the hot sun, especially in New York and in America, I put that cold, cold cucumber toner on your face and it really does like just cool it down before you're ready to go out. And then it sets, it closes the pores. So then you can then apply the moisturizer. Um, I use Kiehl's moisturizer as well. Um, I use an SPF version, uh, multi-correction cream, SPF um, of Kiehl's. Uh, it's, it's not too thick because a lot of SPFs can be thick and cause blockages uh, in your pores as well. So I use, yeah, kind of make your skin a bit more uh, clogged up. So I use the SPF for that and um, it really works really well. So uh, that's my combination. Then I do the mask every, I do it maybe once a week. I don't use it too much. Um, I use the scrub, then I, then I use the mask. I alternate between the two. Um, but I do have some friends, actually, like you're saying, testimonials, um, that suffered a little bit from acne. Um, and it's really helped their acne with, with the uh, World War Sticks face mask. 
Um, and that would be, the green tea really helps that, the acne. Um, so anyway, my, that's pretty much my basic skin routine that I use on a daily basis. And uh, every now and then I get a facial, every maybe every two months I'll get a good facial, you know, really get, get the skin going to work and um, have somebody else squeeze out, you know, the pores. It's hard to do on your own sometimes. Oh, yeah. um, but how about yourself? Now, I, I have a question to ask you because I've seen these things on TikTok where people getting these chemical peels. How do you feel about that? Because I've, I've kind of got mixed, seen mixed reviews about these chemical peels and things. How do you feel yeah. about it? Um, there's different ones you can get. I do know some of them you have to be careful depending on your skin sensitivity. Um, yes. The facial place that I go to, they do. I did have like a, a minor kind of chemical uh, procedure. Um, for me, I mean, I've, my skin is not too sensitive on my face. It's quite, it can be quite rough with it. But even with a minor treatment of the um, acid pill stuff, it left me a little red and sensitive. Uh, and you definitely can't go out. It's not a good time to do it in the summer unless you're not going to go out for about mm -hmm. yeah. three days in direct heat sunlight. It's not good for that because it takes a layer off. Um, and then you're going to cause more um, pigmentation in the skin um, if you go out with that extra layer taken off. So, but it does work. Um, it does. It does work. Um, have you had one yourself? Have you tried it yourself? I've I've never tried it. I was so scared seeing some of the reviews. Um, like even a charcoal mask. My mom bought a charcoal mask, and I'm still like okay. But I I'm old fashioned, so I went when I was going to beauty school, and I invested in so much stuff. Like when, because we know we were going to be doing facials in the class and skincare right. therapy and things. Um, I bought something called, what is it, benzonite clay. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with that. Um, I still have it. I, ha I haven't tried it. But um, I have tried scrubs. I had It's a company called Glam Glow, and they have what's called this five-minute scrub, and I got a little sample, and I tried it, and I love it. And I'm glad that you've mentioned that because they do have scrubs out here for, act for people who have acne, and adult acne is the most difficult to get rid of. Trust sure. me. Um Make sure that you, for my ladies out here and anybody else who wears makeup, make sure that you clean your brushes, change your pillowcases because that can cause bumps and secrets, believe it or not, because I'm revealing it all when it comes to beauty today. Um, my hair would literally be hiding and covering zits. You would never know I had a zit because the hair would be covering. But today, no, it, it's nothing on my face. It's just, you know, beautiful makeup, and it's because I take care of my skin and I make sure that I've been drinking water. My air conditioning is out in the house. So I have to make sure that I stay hydrated, that my skin is on point, that, you know, I'm moisturized. And I'm glad you've mentioned toners. You want to refresh your skin as well, too. So putting cool cucumbers and your, your toner in the refrigerator is a good idea. Even those little roller um, derma rollers. I've jaded rollers. I've seen a lot of people use them on their skin. Those can help as well, too. You can apply them. Now, there is something, because they're always coming out with something new on the beauty market today, and they have a little fridge where you can put your rollers and your eye, um, your eye, your eye mask and all of these things in there to keep them cool. So, Yes, they've, they've come up with so many technology inventions in the beauty world. So things are changing. I've seen it. Um, Adrian, how many of you guys know Adrian Bailon from The Real Daytime? Um, she had, when she was doing something, because she has a whole glam room, and I said, God, I want to be like her one day. She's a Scorpio too. But that's besides the point. Um, she has a whole refrigerator. She has a little mini fridge where she keeps her little jade rollers and her eye her eye mask so when it comes to skincare especially during the summer months you want to make sure that you keep your skin cool hydrated refreshed um and as donnie mentioned exfoliating so spf is key exfoliating and refreshing is definitely also key as well too how about 
what about your intake? Because I know you probably consume a lot of fruits and vegetables, Donnie. So what advice would you give to someone to achieving healthy skin during the summer months? Uh, during the summer months, um, I like, well, um, it's nice that you think I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. Um, I, I guess I do. I eat more, more fruit than I do vegetables. I guess especially in the summer, it's a bit more appetizing. It's a bit more refreshing and rewarding to have a fruit. Um, but definitely clean eating. Like if you start from, the, from internally with, with everything to do with your body and stuff, that's where it kind of starts. You know, it starts in the gut, doesn't it? Um, yeah. So if I do want to go on a nice skin cleanse, I'll buy fresh vegetables. Um, and I'll try to eat vegetables every day so that you're getting your right intake of fiber. But not, I'm not just talking like frozen veg and stuff. There's nothing wrong with that for convenience, but yeah. buying it on the stem, the raw carrot and chopping it up, it's a bit more preparation. But um, yeah, vegetables, water, like literally just, if you can only drink water, that's like a massive percentage of, I find my experience of having better skin when I just stay on water, less, um, definitely less dairy. Um, pretty much, if you can do no dairy, great. But dairy and I find fizzy drinks um, with sh a lot of sugar in, they don't usually um, go well with my skin. <laughs> but um, I do love, yeah, I do love my ginger ale every now and then. Uh, but, but yeah, um, so, and sleep. So a lot of water, a lot of vegetables, and um, I'll tell you what I do actually. Every, every morning I have water and coconut water is amazing for the skin because you know coconut is many benefits from that as well, oh, yeah. which I did want to put into my product, but I might do it into it in another, a different flavor, a different scent. Um, but coconut water and water is great. And then sleep, literally those simple things, um, which are almost naturally given to the earth, right? It's a natural thing to sleep and it's a natural thing to drink water, it's flowing. Those basic things are, are really um, a great start to, to beneficial skin. And then to, to be on additional to that is doing your, um, your cleansing, your toning, your moisturizing and using a scrub, especially in the summer, um, a face mask and a scrub is good because you're getting rid of that, um, that dead skin. Uh, we have Sophia Hancock here, what she's saying, silk pillowcases. Apparently silk pillowcases. It's very, uh, it's very uh, elegant of you, Sophia. That's a friend of mine in London. Listen, um, again, for my ladies, we know how we are about our hair, so I'm glad she brought that up. Um, this is not, you know, we're not really talking hair, we're doing skincare, but Silk pillowcases are beneficial to your hair as well, too. So they pre they prevent hair breakage for my relaxed girls out there. Because I just got to relax. So when was that? Tuesday? I got one Tuesday. And I know for a lot of women of color, we, we have to make sure that our hair is protected. So satin pillowcases not only help with your skin, but they help with your hair as well, too. So it's June. June is like my beauty revival. So we're going to be talking to a lot of actors, you know, a lot of models. We're going to be talking skincare and things like that. And we're here with Donnie, if you're just joining in, and he's talking about his product, the Woo Woo Stick. And as you guys can see in the audience, the testimonials are amazing. So, Donnie, what skin problem do you have in the past that made you want to create the Woo Woo Stick? And this is from Jamie. Jamie, okay. Um, see that one? So Oh, I'm sorry. And Liz, you got one from Liz, too. What advice would you give to people who have older skin? Should the same skin routine apply to aging skin as well as younger skin? I'm sorry. Uh, there was an interference there with the audio. Could you repeat that for me, Steve? The question. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, right. let me go back up. Um, Liz asked a question. What advice would you give older skin should the same routine apply to aging skin as well, too, to skin that is aging? 
um, that you would give to younger skin. And we have a question from Jamie. Jamie wants to know, what skin problems have you had in the past that made you want to go and create the WoWo skin? Okay, good questions. Um, thanks for your questions, guys. Just to clarify, I'm not a derma dermatologist. I'm not a skin expert. But from my personal testimony experiences, Uh-oh, the sound must have went out. Yes, you must have got a call. I can hear you now. Sorry, yeah, there was a call coming in. That's why, okay, that's what happened. So, so for um, Liz's question, the age brackets of skincare, um, I think... My, my, my guess would be between, once you hit your, your 20s to like your 20s to your, maybe your 40s, 50s, maybe 40s, that bracket, you could probably have similar um, products that you could use when you're 20, you can use when you're 40. So there's between those 20 years, that's just my guess. Um, being from 20 years old to where I am now, getting closer to 40, um, I still use the, the same products now with the kills. Mm -hmm. I say if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know. So I think if that answers your question, Liz, I hope it, I hope it does. And um, answer Jamie's question, what skin problems did I face in the past that I, that I don't face now or products that helped me solve the, the issues I had when I was younger? Um, usual teenage problems I had. I actually had, used to have um, quite severe, like, I want to call them, um, not, we call them spots in London. I know you call them pimples here, but yeah. there's real deep ones that are really big and red and sore. I used to get them around my beard area. Um, and I think it irritated from shaving as well. Um, shaving didn't help that, like razor blade shaving. So uh, if, if that helps, actually, by the way, to any guys out there and, and even women as well, that if they shave their face, um, I don't ever go close shave. I use close shave on my bald head, but on the face, I use like a trimmer. And that helps with um, to save irritation and ingrown hairs and stuff. But I think my diet wasn't the best when I was younger either. So um, I ate sweets and candy all the time. Um, I was doing sweets, this is what we call sweets in England, you call it candy here, so I feel like I'm always translating the differences. Um, anyway, but yeah, sweets, chocolate, dairy, all that stuff doesn't help. As I got older, I started to be more, con well, the industry that I'm in, especially, yeah, more uh, health conscious of what I'm eating and my fitness and stuff like that. So, yeah, I used to suffer with those uh, real sore, like almost bruised kind of spots underneath the skin and i think that was to do with my age at that time as well so hopefully that answers your question jamie and i'm glad that liz asked that question about the aging because i know a lot of women we i'm 28 years old and i'm not going to be 28 forever um right. but I, I wish i could stay about 20 but <laughs> um my mom because i would buy a, I, i'm a big old lady girl I use a lot of drugstore skincare, and of course, I use the Clinique and the Clay de Pole and Chanel and things like that. But I use my Olay and my Neutrogena, and that does just as the same thing for me that I needed to do, which is leave my skin smooth. And my mom was like, you don't need that, because um, they would send me so many samples. Like, I'm such a beauty girl, as you guys know. I love makeup and skincare and hair and things like that. And they would send me samples. Um, Lord and Taylor would send me samples and they would put anti-aging products in there. So I'm like, I don't need this. I, I'm, I don't need to tamper with what doesn't need to tamper with yet. I, I'm, I'm not, you know, of a certain age to use anti-aging products. What do I need it for? So I hand it on down to my mom and my mom uses it. So that's, that would be the correct skin type to use those products on if you are a certain age and you're just like, okay, I've got dark sickles, I need to use certain products and they have been working for her, but it's not for me. So not everything is going to work for someone else's skin because we have, we all have 
different skin types. We all have different skin types. There's oily, there's sensitive, and I have sensitive skin. So even me, I have to be careful with what products I put on my skin. Skin, you know, products that have a lot of fragrance and stuff in them. But luckily, I've been able to kind of take a beauty risk and use other products that have fragrance in them, like Olay. I use the beauty fluid every night and in the morning before I go to bed. Not before I go to bed. But yeah, every night before I go to bed and then in the morning, um, the old-fashioned Olay beauty fluid, that's my secret. So there you guys have it. So whenever the makeup comes off and it's just a blank canvas, I like to make sure that my skin is hydrated while I'm resting through the night as well, too. So when I wake up, it's just glowing skin. And all I have to do is just wash my face with the cleanser and prepare myself for the makeup that day and go. So that's the secret to smoother, glowing skin, because I know a lot of people want their skin to pop, especially during the summer months. So... I wouldn't say, I agree with what Donnie just said, which is do not tamper with what doesn't need to be tampered. So if I'm in my 20s, why am I buying anti-aging products? Like, I don't need it. I can use, you know, a serum or a face wash or a face cream, but it doesn't have to be anti-aging. My mom, she kind of got on me about that. And I'm like, I've, ever since then, I've been passing the products and stuff on to her. If it says anti-aging, or, you know, reversing the fine lines and things. I'm just like, I don't need to tamper with it. So pass it on down to my mom. That's what I would do. So as key and essential. So for the men out there, because you've mentioned shaving and razor bumps, and, you know, in the African-American community, when, you know, a lot of men shave, my father is one, he'd be like stubborn raising bump, razor bumps and things. What advice would you give to men that are suffering with that doctor? Wow. Um, well, you're speaking to the right person for that question. Um, I've been through the experience of shaving. I know if my friend Louis is still online, my, my, my best friend Louis Rennick there. We, um, <laughs> we've got stories about shaving, uh, many funny stories, but um, trial and error, really. So because I often I shave my, my head with a blade. So yeah, yeah close down to the blade. Um, so for the head is a bit different it's a bit more tough but we don't the, it's weird because this when you shave around the jaw area it's a bit more yeah. sensitive i believe um like you said for the for our ethnicity um even for many cult different cultures we still might get the same problem but because we have curly hair a lot of the time when you take off that root um for some reason, the hair that's what the hair sometimes grow in when you chop it off with the root. So that's why uh, when I shave, if I do a close shave, if you can, just use a uh, T-liner or a trimmer. I use um, Andis um, or, I mean, you got Conair, Andis, and Wall. I don't know how they pronounce it, Wall, Wall. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I use like a trimmer for that um, instead of a, a blade. And uh, that prevents me from getting like severe ingrown hairs. But then again, like I said, I use, and if you do use a blade, simple rule, the, the simple rule is go with the grain, never go against the grain. Um, I can go against the grain when I use um, a trimmer on my beard and stuff. When I do a lineup around here, um, I use a trimmer and I go up against the grain, it's fine, um, even on the face. Uh, but yeah, if you do use a blade, go with the with the way the hair grows, which is usually down, and and with the head as well. When, for the bald guys out there, um, I use the blade not against the grain on the head on the head either. Um, yeah, that's and then oh yeah, so after the um, post shaving, I use tea tree oil. I use a tea tree spray, and I've used this product for years. Um, I almost want to get the product for you now to show you it. Like, can I get it? Go ahead. It's Go like, right it's on here. Just here. Excuse me. Sir. I have to get it. And here's the product, ladies and gentlemen. Donnie is going to get it. You guys can purchase it on Amazon.com. And it is for all skin types. So make sure you guys please go and check it out. The Wool Stick. And it's great reviews. 
So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. So this is the tea tree spray I use. Is this brand. Um, I've heard of that brand. Yeah. That's Organic Root Stimulator. Yes. Right. So all the, all the, yeah, it's called uh, tea tree by ORS, anti-bum spray. I've used this for, wow, I can't even remember how many years. All the barbers, all the, uh, the master barbers and the barbers, they use this product um, to prevent ingrown hairs and skin irritation. Um, so that really helps me, the ingrowns and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I do for my skin, my shaving routine. And a lot of men have different beard patterns. Like it's, it's not going to be shaped the same. Some wear a soul patch. You have some that have the... I was watching this artist by the name of Salvador Dali. Yeah. Um, and he has a very funny shaped beard. Like it's kind of curled up. So I'm like, how do you maintain something like that? Because everybody's beer type, every man's beer type is not the same. And even I learned that in beauty school when it came to barbering and things like that. Like when you're trimming around the beard area for the men, it's going to be completely different. So yeah, I know my dad who goes to the kind of like this old fashioned type of barbershop where they used to razor, sharpen the razor and everything like that and go in and clean you up with the cream, with the shave cream and everything, got to mix the shave, yeah. So that's what kind of barbershop my father goes to. But even with that, they make sure that the beard, after it is cleansed and rinsed and everything, they make sure that they put something like that, that Donnie just showed on. That's very pivotal, and that is a great product, so. Yeah, I find that stuff helps. Um, Katanya says, Mary Kay's charcoal mask is great to treat and prevent razor bumps. I have a girlfriend who um, sells Mary Kay and I hosted a party for her and she was talking about the charcoal mask as well too. And the most efficient thing about doing masks is, especially this one, the woo stick and the Mary Kay mask, is that you can go around, you can throw whatever it is in your bag, throw it in your bag if you're a person that's on the go like myself. Because I've kind of got to get in the habit of keeping skincare products in my purse as well too. I've got everything, you know, the lipstick and the mascara or whatever, but when it comes to treating, if I can't get back to home on time or, you know, nearby, I would throw some wipes in there, you know, cleansing cloths where I can just wipe and then go. But I still make sure that I cleanse thoroughly all the way from my skin. And that is very, very important. So make sure that you get rid of all of that dirt, that debris, so that you do not have breakouts. And make sure that you're changing your pillowcase as well, too, because that's also beneficial to healthier skin. So. I agree. It's all about prevention, isn't it? Absolutely. Because when it comes to adult acne, trust me, even my mom, she will get little stubborn bumps here and there. And she's just like, this bump is always, oh, you're consult you better promote, girl. That's right. She just put it out there. So, again, this is the beauty. We're talking skincare today, summer skincare tips. So, I love the fact that the audience is chiming in and sharing some of their tips and experiences that they've had with their skin as well too because we know that everybody's trying to keep a uh, perfect skin for the summertime people can't get to a dermatologist right now with everything that's going on and we're trying to help people cut costs by any means necessary with the way that things are going up right now so this is a product that you definitely want to go to invest in and you guys can purchase it on amazon.com right now it is the Google stick and Donnie went. I think he went to go grab it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the, uh, there's the sexy lady. Um, this is the green tea version. Like you say, it's on Amazon, like Stevie said. Um, it comes in this size, nice and compact, um, easy on the skin. Screw the top off. I can demonstrate how to use it. And there's a, there's a screw on the bottom. You just scroll it up, just like a deodorant. Um, it's like a deodorant stick, but on your face. It smell, smells great, and it, there's many benefits to the skin. Um, I did go through them earlier, but when you go on Amazon, you actually see the ingredients. is all on there. It's all listed, and it tells you the benefits on there. And you'll see some reviews from um, people I know and people I don't know that enjoy, that still use the products, and they still come back to buy it as we speak. Yeah. And I'm looking at some of the reviews, and everything and it's amazing and it's giving you everything it's for men and women 
And Katanya says, I used to have acne until I switched to MK. Yes. Find a key product that works for you, even with your hair. Like I remember going to hair salons and to my CEU class. Um, one of my instructors that I used to go to for beauty school, she um she said, Don't keep switching hair products. But I went and I broke the the beauty rules. As you guys can see, the last time I did my interview with Donnie, I had black hair. Today, my hair is pink. So I'm always switching my hair and, you know, trying different hair products, different hair colors, different relaxers, different things that work for me. And my hair will always be healthy because I make sure that I take care of it. So that's just an example. But find a product that works for you. Don't do what I do. Do what works for you and your skin. Um, I know what product works for me, and that is Olay Oil. All of Olay has been a product that I've been using for since I was in high school, and it has gotten me through. So now that, you know, Miss Stevie has got up there, and, you know, she's built a name for herself. I can go and I can get the woo-woo stick, and I can get Clinique, and I can get Lancome and Estee Lauder, and all of these products that are great for my skin. But this one here, the woo-woo stick is great because... It's a product, Donnie invented a product that is that you can throw in your bag on the go. If you're, you're like me and you're always on the go running errands and things. This product right here can help you. You know, we have to get in the habit of, you know, taking care of our skin while we're out on the go on the run or whatever. Um, when I'm not doing Style by Stevie, I'm makeup free. I'm makeup free. You, you will not see me. You will see me in my glasses and you might see my hair done. But other than that, I don't wear makeup out unless I'm going out with the girls or shopping or something like that but other than that I make sure that my skin is taken care of and hydrated you know we have to give our skin like there's something called hiatus hair where you you won't see me with the hair every day you'll see me with my um my Miss Seely color purple braids <laughs> so um yeah. you 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 see the hiatus hair but um yes there's days when I'm just like, I want to take it all off. I want to be free. I, I just, you know, want to show my natural beauty. So embrace it. Embrace it. I mean, these embrace products it. can be essential to health. So, yeah. yeah. So this product here, what can people take away from this product? What feeling do you want people to have when they go and they purchase the Woo Woo Stick Doc? I want them to feel more confident um, about their skin and be happy with, well, something that they can put in, that they can incorporate into their skin routine, you know. Um, like I said, we're always looking for new products and things to work. And if you haven't tried it, you know, what, not just my products, any products, if you haven't tried it and if there's something that you, uh, you want to do to improve your skin, whether it's acne, whether you um, want to even your skin out or reduce blackheads, um, yeah. Just have a detox. This this actually does all those things that I just mentioned, and um, it's only ten dollars on Amazon. It's only ten dollars, and the price is low at the moment. Um, I might stick it up a little bit through the summer, but I'll keep it low for now. Um, ten dollars plus delivery fee. It's not it's not going to break your bank. Um, well, hopefully not. Um, everyone is at a different level, right? So I have to bear that in mind. Um, if I had samples, I would give out you know, some samples to those that requested, but I haven't at the moment. I've just ordered another inventory, so it'll be a little while before I get some more. Uh, but yeah, the result I'd like is a satisfied customer, of course, um, but feel more confident about yourself and about their skin. Yeah, that's, that's the um, Because in your area, Donnie's originally from the UK, as you guys can tell, um, is a famous hairstylist named Vidal Sassoon. And his motto is, if you don't look good, we don't look good. So you got to look good. You got to have great skin. You got to have great hair, especially during the summer months. Make sure, because I know it's difficult with managing everything. If your parents out there, you want to just take that time for yourself to relax. And you can pop that woo woo stick on, that mask on, pour yourself a glass of wine, and do what you need to do, balance it all, and then rinse off. So... Find time to take care of for you, take care of your skin and your health. And we have a question for you. Shout out to Stabby Vince. She wants to know: Does it help with marks after a breakout? It's a good question. I haven't had any feedback with that yet. Um, although, sorry about that noise. 
It's what happens when you live in New York. Um, you get all sorts of different sounds. Um, based on the ingredients that I have, um, I know that some of those ingredients uh, will will help with um, healing, the healing process of the skin. Yes. Um, so my guess would be, I'm not going to say definitely yes, because I have to, um, I'd have to ask around on that. And I haven't actually had um, a mark after a breakout where I've tried it yet to kind of experiment, you know. Um, but based on the ingredients I have, it should help with the healing process of any, um, you know, blemish that you've squeezed or opened uh, with the skin. So I imagine it would help. I wouldn't put it on an open cup or an open um, pimple or something, but it should help reduce reduce the matter. If that answers your question. Get it to go down. Yeah, it should help with the healing process. And another thing I want to add to that too, Donnie, is please do not, and when I was younger, I used to do it all the time, and I kind of had to stop myself from doing it, is picking at your face. Keep, don't pick it. You irritate that spot, that pimple or whatever. I know they're stubborn and they're annoying. Um, and you guys watch Dr. Pimple Papa on TLC, and she's always going in. It's right. satisfying to watch it sometimes. I don't know if that's just me, the weird side of me, but... Once you get the pimple out, it's, it's done. She's also came out with a skincare line as well, too. So I know um, acne bumps can be stubborn, but keep your hands off of your face. Um, it was one celebrity. I cannot remember her name. She said she was asked, how did she keep her skin so clear? Her mom told her, keep your hands off your face. You know, don't go and pick and irritate that area because um, it will leave a dark spot. Trust me. Now I've had I have some things concealed that you guys will never see up under this makeup, thanks to my makeup artist, Melanie. So, <laughs> it's Melanie. but, you know, it's, it's the power of that. Um, but enjoy it. And Esther underscore XX1 wants to know, does it prevent breakouts? Um, like I say, just want to clarify, I'm not a uh, skin expert, but uh, based upon that question, um, it will help, but then you have to also consider, like we were talking about earlier, what's your root, your skin routine? Um, sorry, what's your diet like? You know, what things are you doing outside of that, that, um, that can counteract the, the benefits of using a product, you know, see, um, sorry, what was the, uh, I'm trying to scroll up to see the actual specific question, what it was. Can't seem to scroll. Or is it? Let me see. Up. Yes, does it prevent breakouts? That it was one. And then yeah, it will Katanya help. Said, yeah, does prevent the tiny is her favorite book. That's right. Yeah, it would definitely act as a, an extra thing in your routine to help prevent breakouts. Um, because you've got the, um, the kaolin clay and the green tea, which detoxifies the skin. So it's almost like. Um, for starters, it will um, compress the pores. So, yeah. you know, when the pores are open from the sweat and working out in the summer, they're open and then they cause sweat to pour into the pores and it cause the blackheads. This will help prevent those things from happening, which will essentially help prevent breakouts. If that answers your question, hopefully. I think it was Esther, right? Yes. And what else is I about to say? I think. Um, so. Do you plan on ex my last question for you? And we're going to see if the audience has any other questions as well. Too is do you plan on expanding with the Woo Sticks brand, the skincare brand? Yeah, I, I originally um, released this. Uh, I always kind of try and have a long term goal. And yes, the answer to that question is yes, I do want to expand it. Um, however, I'm not sure um, if I'll be doing all the different scents. You can call them flavors or scents um, yeah. on Amazon, but I do have four different scents that I want to uh, release, and they all have different benefits to the skin. I'll have the basic ingredients, like the, the foundational uh, ingredients that will, that will help the skin like I have in here, but then there'll be additional things. Um, that I, don't want, I won't say what they are yet because I don't want to ruin it, but um, I was actually trying to 
um, have a different scent released by summer, but I've had a few holdbacks with business. This thing's happened um, with Amazon yeah. and stuff. Amazon's a beast. Like you've got business, then you've got Amazon, which is a whole different kettle of fish. Um, it's all about algorithms and all this stuff. So I do want to have a, a range, a stick for each season. So that's, that's the uh, ideal thing I want to do. So I'll keep you posted. If you look on Instagram, um, you can follow the page Wowo Sticks on Instagram. Um, I, I haven't been too, um, I haven't been too, uh, what would you say, punctual with the posts and the information, but it's something that I will definitely make an effort to do more. Um, I have, a, you know, various other things going on that you do one thing and you're busy with, with another, you know, so. But there'll be more sense coming out. Definitely keep your, keep your eyes posted for that. All right, fashion dolls, and you guys can follow the Woo Sticks, Woo underscore Sticks here on Instagram. Um, we're going to see if we have any other questions. And Donnie, thank you so much for coming back to the dollhouse. We, it feel like, like you said, it was like we just seen each other yesterday, and we spoke back last month in May. So, yeah. Right. Well, th thanks a lot for having me, by the way, having me back. And um, thanks for allowing me to speak about my products. And hopefully that those people that, you know, if you do buy it and stuff, and hopefully it does benefit your skin. And if it does benefit your skin and you like it, uh, let me know. You can contact me through my, my uh, Instagram. And feel free to leave a nice five-star review on Amazon. <laughs> if you yeah, do, yeah, show, yeah. Show, right? show the love. So. And, uh, yeah, and, so, and support Black-owned businesses. There's so many Black-owned skincare brands out here. And this is one, so take a chance. And it's it's ten bucks, so who can't beat that? That and it's a reasonable price. A lot of us, you know, we're we're looking for ways to cut back on things. We've had to all cut back on things and sacrifice things, but this here is a reasonable price. So definitely head on over to Amazon and pick yourself up a wool stick. Just work. Thank you. All right, fashion dolls. If we don't have any questions i guess we are now at the end of the interview wait we got a question before we conclude and it's from sophia she wants to know does it ship internationally yes it does ship international um however i will state that with amazon uk it's different to amazon.com you can find the same products um there's many people friends and family and people i don't know from the uk that have ordered Wowo sticks on Amazon. If you go into the search box on Amazon and type in Wowo, which is W O W O space sticks, S T I X, there you go. Yeah, how it's basically spelt here um, S T I X sticks. Um, you might pay a little bit more on the delivery fee. However, um, like I say, it shouldn't be too much, uh, but you can. Sometimes you can find it's a bit tricky to find, but type in Wowo sticks or green tea uh, face mask and scroll. I should be on the first page. It should be in the top few searches. Um, if not, just keep scrolling. You'll see Wowo sticks. The so green tea face mask um, or green tea face mask stick, or just type in Wowo sticks, S T I X. Hopefully, you can find the Sophia. Any other questions, fashion dolls, before we conclude this amazing conversation? Today is summer skincare. We talk summer skincare with Donnie. And we definitely got to have Donnie come back to the dollhouse again. I can't wait to see the expansion of this brand. I know it's taken off because of the reviews and the way that people are loving this product. Right now. So definitely go and pick it up 100%. Tomorrow, joining me, we have Dewan Ford, who is an actor and producer. He will be here tomorrow. Friday, we have Kevin Mark Trail. So that's it for this week. Next week, I kind of gave you guys a sneak peek. Make sure you guys go and check out my stories. Because again, like I said yesterday in my interview with Lamont Elliott, um, Mysteria is a mystery. So you never know what you're going to get or who's going to be coming to the dollhouse. So check my stories for a couple sneak peeks with that. So definitely. Um, exactly. Thank you, K. Will. Follow everyone. Follow everyone. I hope you all are doing wonderful today. We don't 
have any other questions, um, I'm going to close it out again. Donnie, it was so great catching up with you. And let everyone know where they can follow you and check out, be on the lookout for the expansion and everything. Thank you. Thanks again for having me. And um, it's been fun. And it's a great subject to talk about skincare. Um, and I look forward to coming back next time, God willing. And um, if you would like to be posted on what I'm doing, if, it, if my life is interesting to anybody, <laughs> which uh, it's just Donny Riser, you, uh, whatever my name is on here, Donny underscore Riser. And um, yeah, we can keep on touch from there. And Wowo Sticks is Wowo underscore S-T-I-X Sticks on Instagram. And um, you can look at some of the testimonials on there and I can post a bit more information. I must do better on that, so forgive me. Some people hire team, companies hire teams to do their marketing and I understand why. It's a lot, but thanks again for having me. Apologies for the delay on time, but we made, it was meant to be when it was meant to be, right? And it turned out perfectly and it was so worth it. So we thank you again and you're welcome to come back to the dollhouse anywhere. K Will, I'm so proud of both of you. Thank you, baby. Thank, thank you. you. I, and I try, I try. It's it's been difficult. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's been difficult, but I try and, and I'm gonna keep continuing to give you guys these sickening, amazing interviews and conversation. So you guys just stay tuned. You got some more amazing guests coming. Make sure you guys are subscribed here to Style by Stevie, also on YouTube as well, and this interview will be. So you guys take care, and I will see you tomorrow on Thankful Thursday. And go purchase yourself a wool stick. Donnie, it was great catching up with you again. Thank you. Have a good evening. You're welcome. Take care, everyone. Yeah.